amazingly enough, the second most severe injury we saw in sports over the weekend. The other one, I don't even want to show you. Good luck to Sid and back to the Penguins. Hey, our buddy Drew Coe is up today. It may seem like a cruel April Fool's joke, but it's the beginning of camping season, and Drew's a wilderness supply looking at what you need to do to get your gear ready for the new year. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, yes. Individual registration for provincial campsites is now open, so it is time to start thinking about that and planning ahead. And I've learned something very important about sleeping bag storage. Okay, uh, how should I just roll it up and chuck it under the stairs or in the attic? How's it supposed to be See, done? See, I should have told you this uh, last fall when you're packing things up. Actually, you're supposed to be hanging them, but the problem is most people don't have space to hang them. But don't worry, there is something that you can do. Okay, if I haven't got the space to hang it, what's my next best option? Um, you don't want to just unroll it the first time at the campsite. You want to lay it out at home because when you have a downfilled sleeping bag, there's something called loft, which is the way that the feathers stretch out and keeps you warm. So if it's been rolled up all winter, they're compressed and they're not going to keep you very warm. So you want to make sure to give lots of time to let the loft get back into your down inside of your sleeping bag. So more loft for my down means I'm warmer when I head out to camp. Exactly. So it's all about maximizing your comfort, especially if you're trying to get a jump on that early camping season. Tell us a little bit more about it. We have uh, Buffy from Wilderness Supply. Now you are the equipment expert here and you've been giving me this education in sleeping bags. Did I miss anything when I was telling Jeremy about this? Well, it's good for down. It's also good for synthetic. Either way, you want to make sure there's lots of air being held in the particles in the sleeping bag to allow you to stay warm. So either way, if you haven't had the chance to store your sleeping bag hanging up, which is ideal, uh -huh. we want to get a chance to get that loft and air back into the bag. So early in the season, now's a perfect time. We're going to take the bag out, lay it out, give it a chance to fluff up a little bit. If you've been really compressing your bag and it's really packed down there, you might even want to put it in a dryer on a really low heat oh. setting. Give it a chance to tumble around a little bit and get fluffed up again. Okay, because we want to make sure, as we were, uh, Jeremy and I were talking a little bit earlier on, that down is going to keep us nice and warm. So even though I may not have my camping site booked yet, or it's still a long way off on the horizon, now is the time to start getting this loft back into our downfilled items, correct? Perfect time to start prepping the gear for the coming season. I like it. Now let's talk tents for a moment. Uh, what do we need to know if our tent has been stored in the garage or under the stairs? What do we need to do now to get ready for the camping season? You really want to take a chance to set your tent up up well before you actually plan your trip and go out there. Number one thing that we find that people do tend to do is pack up their tent at the end of the season. Something's not quite right. Maybe a pole got broken. You lost a few pegs, but you forget about it. Yeah. You throw it in the car, you take it out to the campsite, you go to set it up and you suddenly realize you can't. And that's really hard to have a good time when you're out camping when you can't set up your tent. Plus, embarrassing with all the other uh, efficient campers. You don't want to look good, uh, you don't want to look bad in front of that crew. So by setting this up at home in advance, we can kind of run through that checklist and uh, take a look at the, the items that need to be there and the things that we might be missing. Also, we're getting rid of that, that musty smell that might have collected inside of our tent, correct? Give a little chance to air out, especially if maybe it got a little damp last time you packed it up. You should always air out your tent at the end of every camping trip, but maybe you didn't quite have the opportunity make sure it gets aired out at the beginning of the season. So we can start off the season right by making sure we get these things aired out. So this is a couple things that we can do to make sure that our gear is ready to go. As far as making sure things are ready to repel some water, there's some refinishing techniques that we can take care of, correct? Absolutely. So we want to make sure our gear is nice and clean as well. Uh, maybe if you did pack it up, it got a bit musty. So we can wash our gear, but normal detergent is really bad on most outdoor gear. Yeah, I didn't know about this, but you were explaining why laundry detergent actually can permanently wreck my gear. So when you look at, let's say, the sleeping bags, uh, detergent will clump all those feathers together. We, again, we want that loft. Normal detergent will make all of the feathers, all the synthetic fibers clump together, lose the loft completely. So if you're going to wash your sleeping bag, which you can do, maybe it didn't smell that great at the end of the season, you can put it in the tub, wash it by hand. Just make sure you get some good detergent that goes with it, either a down wash, if you have a down bag, or a tech wash, which is uh, good for synthetic bags or that sort of thing. So if you're spending all that money to get this really good camping gear, you don't want to undermine your investment by cutting corners with the expense. Because if you're not using the right detergent, it can forever ruin the down inside of your equipment, right? And a proper outdoor detergent is a really, really minimal expense. That means that your gear will last a lot longer. All right, some great tips from Wilderness Supply. Still to come, we're talking about those common repairs. So when you're airing things out, if you discover, oh darn, this is wrecked, don't worry. Very easy fixes, and we'll tell you how to do that coming up later today on BT. Who's taking up the